Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pane and watch video completely. If you find some are important, then pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have find any difficulties or problem, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. What the question says? Here the question is, two large circular discs separated by a distance of 0.01 meter are connected to a battery via a switch as shown in the figure. Charged oil drops of density 900 kg per meter are released through a tiny holes at the center of the top disc. Once some oil drops achieves terminal velocity, the switch is closed to apply a voltage of 200 volt across the disc. As a result, an oil drop of radius 8 into 10 to power minus 7 meter stops moving vertically and floats between the disc the number of electrons present in this oil drop is means you have find out number of oil drops and uh, neglect the buoyancy force takes acceleration due to gravity equal to 10 meter per second square and charge on the electron as usual equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and this question is asked je advanced 2020 Generally, this question is inspired by the Ullikan eye drop method. You are well known about that. The last year you have already studied about the terminal velocity. What does it mean of terminal velocity? When any object which is falling freely, initially its velocity get increased by due to the gravitational force. But after coming to the medium of any other, other then some buoyancy force applied on it. And then some constant velocity falls some constant velocity this constant velocity is called terminal velocity here electrical force applied on that charge uh, particle and gravitational act downward direction and electrical upward direction means balanced the force in that balanced condition right so therefore this question is totally based on polycon i'll drop methods so here we can say that gravitational force and electrostatic force are equal and opposite direction. You can see that mg at downward direction and here electrostatic is upward direction. So therefore, they, can, they are equal but in opposite direction. Here, we have not written here minus sign because neglected, there are no use. Here, what is force? means weight of the particle let mg and what is the electrostatic force it can be written as q into e okay so therefore mg act downward direction and qe act upward direction now q can be written as mg by e and uh, what is the uh, m M can be written as density into volume into G and electric field can be written as potential. What is the relation between electric field and potential? Potential equal to electric field into distance. Then E can be written as V by D means potential upon distance. Here V means potential. So V upon D. And Q can be written as N into E. N the number of electrons and E means charge of one electron. We have to find out N. Okay. So, therefore, transposing N, uh, E, the density, volume of sphere and G, acceleration due to gravity, potential, distance 
and this is one electron charge. Now substitute all this value. Density. What is density you have given? 900 kilogram per meter cube volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi r. What is this? Uh, radius is given? 8 into 10 is to power minus 7 whole cube and uh, g is 10 and distance between the two disks is 0 0.01 divided by potential. What is potential given? 200 and one electron charge is 1.6 into 10 is to power minus 19 coulomb. Okay. Now we have solving. Now let me do the calculations. This is calculation, not a big calculation, easy calculation and uh, you can see how it is easy. That 2, 0, 2, 0 cancel out and equal to 9 into 4 by 3, 22 by 7 can be written as 3.1, 8 cube 512, 10 raised to power minus, uh, minus 7 raised to power 3 means 10 raised to power minus 21 and 10 multiply 0 0.01 it can be written as 0.1 okay here 2 and 1.6 into 10 is to power minus 19 3 is three a 9 2 2 is a 4 and equal to 6 3.1 512 10 is to power minus 21 now this become 1 by 10 means minus 22 plus 19 and uh, remaining number 1.6. So here it can be written as minus 1 again 10 is to power minus 1. Now let me see this calculation that is very easy calculation. 0 0 0 0 cancel out and equal to 9 into 4 by 3 22 by 7 can be written as 3.14 it can be written as 3.1 8 q how much 512 10 is to power minus 21 and 10 multiply to 0 0.01 and it become 0 0.1 and to 1.6 10 raised to power minus 19. Now 3 3 is a 9, 2 2 is a 4. Now n equal to 6, 3.1, 512, 10 is to power minus 21. This 0 0.1 become 1 by 10 means point again minus 1, minus 19 become plus 19 and uh, 1.6 can be written 16 into 10 means uh, 20. Okay, this 16 divided by 512, 32 times and uh, multiply by this number, how much? 22 plus 20. This number will be 18.6 into 32. And how much? 18.6 can be considered 19. 19 to the 38 3, 57, 6, 608. Approximately 600. Then 600 divided by 100. Then n equal to 6. So therefore, your correct answer is n equal to 6. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. And yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. That can get the link for the next video. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.